Hello and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So, Pen, what do we do now, huh? What are you thinking, partner? The members of the troop mentioned a woman with blonde hair. I think it might be Princess Zelda. We should check in with the Great Fairy and find out what she saw, but if she won't show herself, hmm. Maybe we can get, a, get her to come out if we bring the musicians to her somehow. Their wagon is busted, though. What do we do? Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So are you going to let me do it now? Well, they're not bitching at me. I think I'm going to be all right. And... Sticky. How do you like that? Do I need to hook a horse up to it too? Hey you, give me a horse. I will take horse and pfeffer. Yeah. Keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? There you are. And we'll just get this hooked up. Now, are you ready? I'll take you. I can't believe it. Violin, he's made some sort of change to Breezer. We may be able to get on our way now. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. Good. I'm glad that was enough. Are you coming, bird bo Birdman? How about you, Horse and Pfeffer? This way, so we don't have to run over the Gerudo lady. That's convenient for her. And also for my insurance. I assume there's more to this musical troupe. I wonder when we're going to find the rest of them. We know that there is a flautist. Thank you, we can take it from here. All right, Mastro, lead us into the performance. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop must play with all the heart we can for the great fairy. That was strangely sexual, wasn't it? Maybe not so strangely. The fairies have always been a little sexualized, I guess. Behold, Violin, the great fairy graces us with her presence. Truly divine. Hi. Oh. Well, look at this. You really helped out here, partner. I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. 
So this is a great fairy. Huh? I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. Mm. But now that I look back on it while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, if the Great Fairy is out of hiding, that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start to the old nest egg. Eh, not bad. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Like that frog costume. Keep up the good work. Okay, I'm going to take this story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. So long. Oh, I get it now. Mastro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. That wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the Great Fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other Great Fairies are also hiding away in their buds. I bet if you, I mean we, play music for them, that'd cheer them up too. A brilliant idea. And you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop. The Stable Trotters. <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but oh, you just wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Man, that maestro is round. Look at that guy. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Huh? I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. How did all of these people forget me? You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Miha is near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is in a is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in West Nekluda. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you could find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? Mm. Yeah, let's do an enhance. Oh. I have this set, so let's do that one. Mm. Oh, I have to pay her money to do... Mm. Mm. Don't have to pay her money up front, but now I have to pay her in labor. Yep. Huh? It's the usual mm -hmm. shtick. Mm. Oh, look at huh? that. It doesn't reorder my inventory when it does it. That is that is a welcome improvement. Mm. And huh? we'll probably just wrap it up there mm. for now. Mm. Nice. Oh, huh? mm. It seems my little sisters are still, still secluding themselves in their flower buds in distress. If you see a giant flower bud as you journey through Hyrule, please play lovely music for them, too. Mm. 
My little sister Miha said she was going to a stable in Hebra in the north. Well, you already told me that? Well, then I'm headed home. <laughs> Take care. Don't you mean sore long? Now, are there fairies around here? I don't see any fairies. Maybe they'll show up later. All right. So we got that done. There's a tower there. That's not too far from where we can get to. That seems like a reasonable one to take care of next. Let's see what we can see. I can't believe I only just noticed that the loading screen now shows you disappearing from where you were and then reappearing where you're going. That's a nice little piece of flavor. Okay, so... Oh, it's very up, isn't it? Why am I... Oh. Well, that's an, an amusing coincidence. That woman is training some Aussies, it looks like. That big bird is talking to those little birds about underpants. Oh. There you are, partner. Have you seen all the men in underpants at the stable? Ah. I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sources. They said that Princess Zelda ordered all the members of the Zone Survey team here to dress that way. Hmm. This spot used to see a lot of travelers coming through here on their way to Goron City. But they're mostly taking a new road now, so monsters have been making their home in the area. I've been telling folks that it's too dangerous to walk around here in just their underpants. They won't listen to me, though. They insist they're following Princess Zelda's orders. I've also heard that some of these underdressed men have set off to explore a place near here. Mm. They went to look into a monster den up this mountain road and haven't come back yet. Well. Why would Princess Zelda give such a reckless order to the survey team? These chirps and warbles are going to give us a real story to report on. I just know it. Alright. Well, I'm not going to wear my underpants. I'm going to wear my awesome new armor. Let's go see what that's about. I immediately gave up on that go after that other tower mission. I think that's the Akala region tower. And I do want it. But uh, a bunch of dudes trapped in them wearing a, a, a bunch of dudes in their underwear trapped by monsters in a cave. Sounds like my kind of fun. You can take that however you like. I know I will. Yeah, so this is the old road to Goron Town. Maw of Death Mountain. This is... The Maw is... That's the Maw. This is like... The Skirt. And it is definitely quiet. If I remember right, there used to be a guardian patrolling near here. I wonder if I'm even going to need all these fireproof lizards anymore. I'm sure they'll be useful for something. Where's your friend? I see. Um. Cool story. Anyway, how about those dudes in their underwears? I wonder if it's only dudes in their underwears. Do you think they brought any ladies in their underwears? It wouldn't be very egalitarian not to, would it? I hope they're not doing a workplace discrimination here. 
On the other hand, we don't know that Zelda said that the ladies should wear their underwears. Hey guys. Oh. Princess Zelda has given us the order, so here we go, Sango. Oh. It won't be scary if we both go together all at once. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh. Sango, why didn't you go? Oh. You didn't move either, Drant. What are you guys doing? Oh. Ah. What? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a monster. Mm. We're trying to conduct research on the monsters holed up in this cave. But look at us. We're hardly geared up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to go in there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Princess Zelda sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team, and it's this, word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. <laughs> I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way, but we're really only members of the survey team. Aww. It's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment, but without any? Mm. If only someone could do this, show us how it's done, well, then we could try to do it without gear too. Oh, so I don't get to wear my awesome armor. You'll need to go in wearing as little as we are. You're sure about this? Yeah, mm. whatever. Now then, I'll hold on to your clothes and any equipment you may have. Boo! She said in your underpants. She didn't say without your sword. Ah. Just give me a shout when you want your equipment back. Mm. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We're just not confident in the whole physical side of this. It's because you don't have awesome long hair like me. So what am I doing here? Am I creeping on the monsters? Or am I going to go fight the monsters? What does my log say? Defeat the monsters in the cave wearing only your underpants. <sighs> what a pain. They took away my equipment, but I'm just going to grab this equipment and use it. Stop standing up, you goober. When I'm ready for you to stand up, I will let you know. So I'll head over this way, and I will attach this crate to my stick. Oh good, I have something to eat too. Make more noise, jackass. I think... Oh, of course. I should have drank one of my sneaky elixirs before I did this. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Gimme. Alright, good start. We did an aggro. So... Let's do this. Will this work on you? No, it won't, but I'll t take your shield. Haha! -ha. No, I was running away from you, jerk. Now... Okay, now I gotcha. Um... Keep getting hit, good job. I did have a food, didn't I? Yeah. Nope, that's mine. Oh, I know what to do about that.
Wanna try again? Yeah. That works for me. I don't have any arrows. Perfect. I'm perfectly willing to just keep doing this until you die from it. Is that the only move you got? Because it is acceptable. <laughs> I love this AI. Now <laughs> he's just gonna go for a different one. Bonk. Ooh, that one hit him hard. Maybe I need to let it get farther from him? Hmm. That's good to know. Come on. Off you go. Do that a couple more times for me. There we go. I hope those researchers are really learning from my techniques here. Ooh, and I'll steal their meat too. Thanks. Go ahead and just... There we go. All topped off. Well, researchers, what do you think about that? All you gotta do is use your recall ability to throw the rocks back at the moblins. And then you'll be all set. Once you fuse all of their stuff to their other stuff. Am I right? Oh. Wow, you survived. I beat them. Huh? What? You really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants? I'm going to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. Please join us back at Foothill Stable. Thank you. Okay, then I'll return the gear that I was holding for you. We'll head back to Foothill Stable and wait for you there. They better not have messed with any of my stuff. Alright, well, some of it took a long time to load in, but it looks like it's all there. Hey, Gerudo lady, did you know there's a bunch of mans in their underpants around here? It's dangerous up ahead. Savota. Savota. Ah. It used to be that this path would lead to Death Mountain. And it still does. Though with the increase in monsters, it's fallen all to ruin. Those grasping reddish-black monsters that creep along the ground are especially troublesome unsettling too you seem to know way around your your way around a sword well enough but be careful not to approach them carelessly mm. I was hoping to follow this road to Goron City but I probably shouldn't risk it anyway I'm gonna keep going yeah just like that now where did those guys go I mean the path didn't just go to ruin it got filled up with ruins. Oh, you know, I didn't need to eat that food. I could have just gone for a little swim over here. Uh, no, 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 no. There. And this is why I stuck a cart to a shield. It's the best surfing. As far as I know. They definitely still take damage and break. But they last quite a bit longer, as near as I can tell. <laughs> and it looks very silly to walk around with a cart on your back. We'll talk to these bozos. And then we'll see about... Huh. Is that water making it all the way to the ground?
There, that doesn't look so silly, does it? Oh, great, you came. Everyone, this is the one who did our survey team a great service, defeating the monsters in just his underpants. Oh. Incredible. Please tell us how this is actually done. Ah, oh, look at that. All mans. There are no ladies in their underpants. Oh. oh. Yeah. Um, excuse me. What's all this with wearing only underpants? Oh. Oh, sorry, I guess you haven't heard Princess Zelda's order for all of us on the survey team yet. She said we had to leave the comfort of studying indoors. She ended with these words. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. Uh... No, I got the order too. That's why I'm all the way out here doing research. But what Princess Zelda really said was this. So prepare your mind and body and then explore all other paths. Not what you guys thought. What's that? Then all this time we've spent doing our survey research in our underpants was a total waste of time? Mm. Well, not entirely. Princess Zelda did say to strengthen our mind and body, and to go outside and push ourselves. To excel like never before. Is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do? Our methods as researchers have truly been tested. Ah. Come on, let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever. <laughs> But I assume they're going to put clothes back on. Mm. Uh-huh, I see. So the chirps and warbles that started us off here really paid off in the end. What a story. The team here botched the listening part and went overboard with the doing part. Still, that's commitment. Well, one thing's for sure. Princess Zelda is a top-notch leader. What a powerful inspiration she is. Mm. We've worked together to chase two of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Hey, I thought I was going to get raises and bonuses. Oh, there's also this. It's from Tracy. Oh, good. So, Atenos Village's dye shop in Nakluda has started up a new service. It has something to do with fabrics. I know, I know, I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still... The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Well, let me tell you the list of things I just made that I will not do. Hmm. It would be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. With that, I'll take wing. This story isn't going to write itself, after all. Ah! So long. I'm definitely not going to get tired of that. For our princess. I so missed pants. I don't think I've ever said that phrase. So I want to get up there. I'm going to head that direction. I don't think we're going to bother doing it all on camera, though. Because I think it's going to be a walk. In fact... Yeah, that's not very helpful, but of course, why would it be helpful? The whole reason I want to get there is to expand the map. So the map isn't going to show me the route. That just makes sense. Do I want to do that one, or do I want to do that one? Oh, you know, that one's quite, quite close too, isn't it? Yeah, let's head over there first. I think that makes more sense. We will get to that other one. We most certainly will. And I think before too long. Oh, there's another thing that we should be doing over here. Yes. All right. Well, I know what we're doing next episode. Good. Yeah, so we'll head this way. And as usual, we are all out of time. So come back and see me again tomorrow. And we are going to visit the Great Plateau, which I somehow managed to think had gone away. But it hasn't. See, there's the Temple of Time. 
and uh, I heard a little something from an NPC about what it will take to get there. So with that, I will talk to you soon.